Yesterday, Israel's Supreme Court struck down Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's controversial reasonableness bill. The judgment passed on an 8 to 7 margin. The reasonableness law passed by the Israeli Knesset last July had semi-constitutional status and meant to strip courts of using the so-called reasonableness standard. The standard allows judges to veto laws and government decisions not out of any illegality, but because of the judge's personal opinions as to what is reasonable or not. This was never the intent of Israel's founders when forming the Supreme Court, and only happened through the court arbitrarily pushing the boundaries of its own jurisdiction a few decades back. In its decision, the court actually used the reasonableness standard itself to veto the reasonableness law. This puts Israel's judicial and legislative branches into uncharted territory. If the government branch, which makes laws, is muzzled from doing so because of arbitrary commands from unelected bureaucrats like Supreme Court justices, then who is supposed to check the judiciary? For most of the last year, tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets to pressure Netanyahu to back down on his reform program. Hamas's October 7th massacre and the subsequent war in Gaza had put the protest movement on hold, but those old tensions never went away. The final ramifications of the verdict remain to be seen, but one thing is for certain. Whatever the outcome, Israel, whether from Hamas or internal divisions, is in for bitter affliction.